Hey, Ron McGill here with another edition of Zufari. Today we're talking about the American alligator. Now we know the alligator is that big reptile found in the Everglades and most people are afraid of it. They look at it as a malicious monster, but people don't realize how important they are to the environment. They are environmental engineers. We know that they can grow to be 18 feet to massive males, sometimes closer to 12 feet, but generally speaking, what they do is they create water holes. There is interdependency in wildlife on alligators. Wildlife that depends on alligators for their well-being. In those water holes that they create during the dry season, fish live, birds can go in there and live. It's a home for many animals to get the fresh water that dries up during the dry season. So those gator holes, again, are homes to many other animals that depend on those gators to live there. Another thing is, you will notice that where alligators congregate, a lot of birds like egrets and herons nest over the alligators. And you think, my gosh, why are they doing that? Because you think the alligators are going to eat them. Well, no, the alligators aren't going to climb in the tree. But the alligators, what they do is, they eat raccoons, they eat possums, they eat other animals that will climb into the nest and eat the eggs and the chicks. So the birds learn that those alligators are basically watchdogs. They're depending on those alligators to protect their nesting rookeries. Now here's another thing. The alligators benefit too, because every now and then a chick falls in and it's food for the alligators. So that's kind of a symbiotic relationship, but it's interdependent, okay? The birds depend on the alligators to protect those nests from predators going up into the nest. The alligators depend on the birds to throw a little chicken every now and then for some food. So interdependency with wildlife occurs throughout the animal kingdom. We'll see you next time on Zufari.